so uh, basically uh, the objective is that that uh, means we, we will not show you anything in the actual module because we do not have any uh, li uh, we cannot show it but uh, we will show you the screenshots basically but i will help i will make sure that you understand everything how things are happening uh, the objective is that like in few interviews uh, means like anyone who has done uh, who has not started his articleship also anyone doing his articleship and anyone uh, means uh, will be uh, going for ca final interviews if you write in your cv that you have some working knowledge or maybe view mode knowledge of sap uh, it gives you an added advantage if, uh, means because uh, at least they do not have to uh, there a little effort of uh, training you will be reduced so you will get an added advantage on that sometimes they do negotiate on their salaries also like they will say that are i have to train you you do not have because maximum companies if you go in an industry most of the companies will be using sap means you will be working with a good mid a good uh, industries right so it will they will be working in sap so and they will like try to negotiate also with you like oh you you do not know sap so uh, we have to uh, incur some expense on that and things like that so the idea is that that you get a little bit idea on how sap modules are and how do we extract the simplest of things uh, and uh, i will also guide you that how you will answer if you get such kind of questions okay so the first thing is that so sap uh, 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 there is like in tally uh, there is a logon okay so sap also has a logon like this this small screen can you is it visible this small logo this uh, arrow down logo anyone please confirm is this logo are visible yes sir acha okay thank you so much uh, so we are a very few so please do not hesitate to confirm okay be active in the year so that we can uh, have an interactive session so uh, there is a logo like it will be appearing in your desktop right now i do not have in this desktop any sap installed so i there is no logo like in tally like here tally this logo is coming in uh, sap this logo will come this arrow down logo will be coming and it will be visible as soon as you click the logo they will ask you of a user id and they will ask you a password okay so there will be a unique user id and password user id can be sometimes employee id it depends it uh, statutory auditors have different id and there will be a password so this is the first screen so the first screen after clicking the logo comes like this okay the second screen which will come is like this this is the main screen where we get connected to all the modules sara modules ko mai it gets connected to okay so the uh, here is the option of giving the t codes okay so t code is uh, so sap has a very unique thing called t codes t codes uh, so t code is nothing but transaction code as we have seen that uh, like uh, in uh, tally also if you have, you guys mo mostly i think so have used everyone has used tally so in uh, tally also there are things like uh, if you click display alter dal so it will it connects you to d display alter ledger like that so th this is also shortcut uh, t codes like if you do not want to go through the fully fully through the folders path you can just if you are aware of the t codes you can just use the t codes and directly go to the get to the ledger uh, th that is the thing so the first t code acha before that tally uh, means uh, sap is a uh, erp software you uh, you all know so erp anybody can say me about a little bit about erp what do you understand by an erp software what are the what is there in an erp software which is not maybe in a basic accounting software means anyone wants to try so there is an audit trail in sap while in tally it is not there acha okay uh okay A anyone else sir i think in erp in whole office is connected with an erp system if uh, it, in one device you make some changes it is in integrated with all the systems there and uh, automatically it changes in all the devices okay okay means uh, you uh, means all the devices uh, means yes, you are saying integrated that... with the yes entire system entire system means means all the all the organization same system you are saying that it is in integrated means you are saying something like yes, that yes sir yeah. uh, yes sir so it happens in tally also uh, if you change something if the server. server is there so it will it will get updated mm -hmm. in every 
No. Yes, sir. Ah, so uh, tally also. Acha, okay. Anyone else wants to try? What do what do they understand by SAP uh, ERP ERP software means proper ERP software means. Acha, okay. Le, uh, let me let me explain it. So uh, see uh, there whatever you know know in bits and pieces it's okay okay you can answer this but the major thing what is happening is in ERP enterprise resource planning so means in organization whatever are the functions majorly whatever are the functions SAP has a software for that like you understand uh, supposedly tally uh, can you process uh, uh, payroll. I am I am not very clear on tally before means I have used a very older version of tally. You guys might have used a, a newer version, but is payroll processing process possible? Like you can you maintain employee master records and uh, can you process their salary or you just pass a pass a general entry like salary and wages account debit to bank or to salary payable? So uh, means what is that possible? The first one is possible. Like we can we maintain employee master records there and can we and we also maintain the what will be the basic salary of people, what will be the DA, and then then there will be a cycle run of a salary, and then the salary gets processed. Is is such kind of thing possible there? In tally, can anybody please confirm? No sir. No sir. So so what we can see that SAP gives you that facility. Okay, so like SAP has a payroll. Uh, Pay, uh, payroll module in place okay you, you can say payroll module in place which keeps a uh, record of all the employee masters that what is the basic salary what is the da what is the well, how much is the tax needs to be deducted everything so basically what happens when you run the payroll module and automatically the it generates pay slip and all that and similarly it will give an accounting post you also or accounting posting also so that is a system of integration which we are talking about the integration which you just mentioned mentioned that it has an integration with sap fi we say finance fico module we say generally finance and accounts and controlling means uh, the main accounting module like in general entries, uh, like in normal accounting software. So accounting module is the FICO module. Uh, we generally say SAP FICO finance and accounts controlling uh, module. So automatically in payroll, if you if you run the process, automatically entries will be posted in the F uh, FICO module, accounting module. So that is the system of integration. We do not have to pass a, uh, any entry in the accounting software of post that. Similarly, there is also a module of material management, okay, which is called the, these are the uh, FICO and material management are the two most common modules and which an auditor uses the most. It, it is also called MM module. We, in short abbreviation words, uh, we use it MM module, where all the details of, or all the details of inventory uh, is <clears throat> maintained with their plant location, storage location, area means everything in very deep details also there is a module of production plan planning like production production planning like we can plan our production as per bomb okay uh, like uh, how how inventory will be moved from uh, uh, raw material to fg to uh, 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 means uh, raw material to fg and then how it will be so sold so everything means like inventory records are properly maintained in the material management module. Similarly, production planning shows you that how many items we have produced, how many FG we have produced during the year, and what is the uh, how, how much raw materials have we consumed for that. So there are separate, there are it is a there are separate modules uh, which uh, and uh, then it is getting integrated in uh, in one total software. Okay, so that is majorly the SAP software. So there are, you can think about more modules like sales and distribution. There is a module may, may there is a, uh, you can maintain customer records. You can maintain customer feedbacks, reviews, everything means every, everything which an organization requires to control its day-to-day -day activities. There are separate modules, which gets integrated together. And that's why SAP is known as an SAP ERP software. Okay. So I hope you got an idea like what is an uh, uh, why SAP is called an ERP software. Sometimes my, maybe they might ask you questions like this also that 
why why sap erp what is the excess extra thing which sap erp is doing which is not done by tally so i think so you have got a little bit of idea that actually erp is similarly there is also a module of SAP, sap plant maintenance in plant there are many times maintenance work being carried out when was the maintenance shutdown taken when was the maintenance shutdown again released how much time it took what was the cost involved everything gets recorded okay so sap maintenance in fact in today in today for controlling for doing ifc testing also sap software is being used uh, as sap software is being used so there is a module in sap for doing ifc testing also obviously the system will not do the ifc testing there are risk control parameters which are defined and from the sap module you have to uh, uh, it gets triggered to the respective person the respective owners that whether they are uh doing uh, I means sorry uh huh. so it will it gets triggered to the respective person that and they have to uh, upload the documentation in support of the uh risks and controls which are defined uh so uh risks and controls which are defined so uh and that's that is how organizations are complying with the internal financial controls okay so there is a sap, SAP ifc SAP, sap ifc module also so there are separate separate modules and then they get integrated with account accounting module okay and that's why erp now now i hope when you have understood this now we can proceed further so uh, we were here so i showed you the screen of the user id password the second screen this is the screen which i spoke about and we will uh, and the first thing see being an auditor or being an accountant also the first thing what we require the major thing is that pile we require the trial means basically because starting of an audit also trial if you under want to understand the business and means wants to understand the what is the revenue profit and everything what are the ledger codes so everything has a base of trial so first you you can note it down or you can uh, you can you may uh, watch it you it's better you note it down the first transaction because in interviews they ask you simple simple questions okay and this simple questions if you answer it gives an edge to from the other people's which are there so anybody who is watching this video maybe supposedly who is not in a, have started his article ship if he writes in his resume that yes i have i have some knowledge about sap and just saying this simple two three t codes also they will they get a, they get a more better chance of getting selected okay so f.01 is the first t code which we are uh, talking about f.01 is about trial so first we will click uh, first we will type f.01 and then we'll keep press the enter button either we can press enter button or you can see the right signal uh, right sign here uh, th this button if you press it will take us to a window okay the window is this one this is the financial statements uh, the heading is financial statements okay uh, here there are some parameters which need to fill which needs to be filled up uh, and then we have to click on the execute button to uh, connect uh, to download the trial basically okay so what are the parameters see there is a parameter of chartered uh, chart of accounts this is generally predefined in every organization it is thousand okay means uh, means the, uh, the uh, chart of accounts every organization it is thousand okay uh, basically or you can click here in this uh, search option and you can select what is the organization you want to download the trial i will explain few components then you will have an idea that what are these parameters talking about okay so chart of accounts is there uh, uh, which will which is generally always thousand okay the second is gl account as we are downloading trial so we do not want to see if you have if we had to see any particular gl balance in trial then we might have used this but we do not use this we, we can have gl uh, view from other there are other uh, t codes from where we can see the gl balances so we do not use it for this purpose we generally use it for the purpose of downloading trial so uh, there will be a company code option okay so this is the main thing the first thing what we will be learning today is what is company code uh, what is company code so anybody who can uh, who has a little bit idea about what is company code company code vinay i think so you should answer this you have attended a lot of sessions not remembering oh my god acha come acha okay so what happens is that so suppose sometimes mid size companies okay uh, have uh, uh, there is a group like uh, supposedly abh group of companies supposedly and they have two or three companies uh, means one is the main company so like i said abh uh, sorry 
uh, uh, I said uh, like supposedly ABH, which is into supposedly a tea company. ABH is a tea company. And supposedly it has a one company, A company, one company, B company, and one company, H company. Means these three are the, means ABH is the group means, or you can say that A is the main major primary company and these two are its subsidiary. And all are, be, are being held by supposedly one promoter, supposedly. So in that case, like they have to uh, now the previously they were using a uh, tally or any other software and now they want that everyone uses sap in their company like it it should be not only in a company it should be applicable in b company also h company also so they, they speak with the sap personnel that we need sap in all the three organizations okay in all the three organizations and they do it uh they take it together because what happens like it, SAP provider gives you an SAP module. Okay, you have to customize it, customize it yourself. So uh, making it applicable in three companies is is little. It, it becomes a little easy because if the all the business functions are similar, they can just uh, means uh, they can just uh, maintain a primary company like a company. Uh, whatever they have integrated, like this will like GL thousand will be of land. GL two thousand will be a building or any other customizations, whatever they have done, they can just take a clone of that and replicate in company B and company H. So basically, what, what is the meaning of company code is, like company code basically stands for, uh, uh, company codes, if you say, it basically stands for a separate legal entity. So uh, uh, generally for the primary company or whatever you will be doing audit, okay, it will be majorly thousand, okay, thousand. But supposedly, uh, if you want to extract a group company also or a, a subsidiary also, so if you press two thousand, maybe it this it will, whether it will be thousand or two thousand. That search option which I showed you, everywhere there is a search option, and you can click there and see. So sometimes also like supposedly there is a, a there is only a company, but it has some trust, like in trust for creation of provident fund and uh, uh, they have created a trust within themselves. So sometimes the trust code is like 2000 B company. So you, be, you being an auditor, you can just uh, see, or you, you being an, uh, uh, sorry, you being an auditor, you can see, or anyone like for the purpose of consolidation also, they do not have to do much effort. They can just uh, select all the three companies together and uh, extract the trial for a better uh, view of console for better consolidating the uh, documents. So that is the, so, so, in simple terms, if I say company code is basically a separate legal entity, that is, that is in simple terms. And generally in organization in one, one organization, the, uh, the company code is only 1000. And sometimes like I told you, if there is a group of companies majorly like a uh, uh, group of companies that is subsidiary and all there might be two or three company codes okay or like if supposedly there is a foreign subsidiary so it is a separate legal entity foreign subsidiary will uh, uh, or like there is a foreign company uh, uh, supposedly incorporated outside india so uh, uh, in that case there will be a company code 1000 for the indian company and there will might be a company code 2000 for the foreign company so if the accounts are being controlled by a same group of people then they both can extract uh, their relevant account financials. So company code is basically a separate legal entity. Any questions on this? Means you got you did you understand what is company code? Yes, sir. Achha. If no one is responding, I'm expecting that others are also understanding. Okay. If anyone has questions, feel free to ask. Okay. So uh, first thing is a, a company code. Okay. So that is very simple as, uh, as you understood, means it is basically a separate legal entity. The, uh, the code of the entity which you are doing audit, you will be putting there. I'm just giving you a depth knowledge of all this. Might be in the interview, they might not grill you so much. Okay, but you need to have an understanding. Uh, I have done a lot of, uh, means uh, I'm working from so long. So after so much research, I got to know. So I'm sharing with you whatever I understand. Okay, so company code I explained. Uh, here search help ID search string there nothing is required now comes the second thing business area business area so can anybody explain me what is business area now can anybody I explained you the company he explained uh, I explained you the company code can ex anybody explain me what is business area department saying like finance and accounts is a department there will be a business area sales uh, uh, sales is a department it will have it will be a business area 
So logistic is a department. There will be a business area like this. You are saying. Yes, sir. Acha. Okay. Anyone else wants to try? Sir, the nature of this, the industry type in which industry it is, maybe manufacturing activities or uh, healthcare and all that. Okay. Then, okay. Like okay. kind of that. Acha. Acha. Uh, let uh, see. Uh, in in general cases, business area. Supposedly, ITC is a company. Okay. It has a. It has many place of businesses. It might have fifty place of businesses. Okay. It it might have fifty place of businesses. So in that case, uh, if you want to download the trial of one particular place, okay, then there is a segregation. That is that is the beauty of uh, SAP. There is a segregation given that you because like you also go go for audit, right? So you go for audit. There are uh, there there might be five or six uh, uh, factories in different different states. of the you go for one unit so the unit which you go you see you are responsible for means you being a, uh, not in case you are not doing the audit of the entire company means you obviously your partner will be doing the entire like you went to one unit so you will be first concern about the unit of that trial so if other trials information if five uh, five unit trial information comes to you it will be very complicated for you to do audit so for that business area has been created so basically in simple terms we can say that every uh, place of business as you can say every unit has one business area okay Un understood business area yes sir okay acha yes okay so uh, coming to the next part this currency type i don't think so we have to do uh, give anything Uh, ledger we generally select ol okay o ol is the ledger which we ledger type which we select okay here if, if similar search box will also come here so generally uh, we choose ol just search just click on the search button here whatever as the option okay you might choose there uh, next coming to the uh, here there is a reporting here to uh, taken 2000 acha one mo one most important thing in uh, sap like uh there is a concept of fiscal year in sap basically fiscal year so like uh, if, two, if this is the this financial year we are calling it 2021 22 okay so what will be the fiscal year as per sap fiscal year will be 2022 okay 2 2022 similarly if you want to extract a trial of uh, uh, last year the fiscal year which will be giving is 2021 i hope fiscal year concept is clear okay fiscal year so supposedly you have to download a trial of last year so the reporting year will be you will be giving 2021 okay reporting periods like tri uh, trial takes uh, means generally uh, sorry sap takes april as the reporting period one similarly may will be the reporting period two and uh, so on like the, uh, march will be reporting period 12 so first reporting year will be 2021 Uh, because uh, if you are downloading trial of fy20 uh, fy2021 second reporting period will be uh, if you have to download trial of 12 months you will be giving 1 to 12 if you have to download trial of 3 months then 1 to 3 okay similarly they they are asking for comparison year so they will plot the figures uh, comparison to la last uh, to last year what was the figures like if sales had balance 100 rupees uh, in fy fy21 then fy20 what was the balance that also it will show you okay so comparison year and comparison period 1 to um, uh, uh, sorry 1 uh, to 12 similarly if you have to take 12 months or if you have to download a uh, 9 uh, months trial uh, accordingly okay so 1 uh, uh, to 9 you will be giving 1 to 9 if you have to supposedly download for uh, jan uh, april to december okay and now after that after selecting this uh, here will be a, a here you can give alb grid control okay and uh, you you just try to execute okay it little bit the layout depends on organization to organization layout is basically nothing but in what means how do you want the data to be represented every organization creates their own layout but this is the basic primary thing that how does a trial screen looks like and how do we get into the trial so uh, after filling all this up there is an execute button this is the uh, this is the uh, uh, watch sign as uh, watch sign and a tick sign shown 
so this is the execute button and we have to click there the shortcut key key being f8 f8 is the key which we use okay and then we execute after execution this is what uh this, this like this is the trial as uh we generally get okay so the uh, this is the extract of the trial like we get here like uh here is the accounting accounting code uh name of the asset reporting period means what is the figures of this year and what is the figure of uh, comparison year and then similarly they calculate the absolute difference also what is the difference between this and they calculate the percentage wise deviation also so uh, it i as i told you it depends on audit uh, it depends on the layout which you are choosing so the extract will be coming so they are they are showing company code 1000 and they are showing general ledger uh, balances here okay so Till here, uh, you got an idea that how to extract a trial, right? Any questions till here? All clear. All, all oh, clear. Now. Hmm. Achha, okay. So uh, after that, you need to go to the list option and there will be an option to export. Okay. So you can export this uh, trial. So I think your trial portion is clear. You can now download a trial. There will be an option in list. Then there is an option of export there and you can download the... Uh, this data in excel okay so our uh, trial is over okay now the second part which comes to is ledger okay now after uh, after seeing the trial the second uh, function which we need to know is how to uh, extract and ledger so for ledger uh, the process is similar uh, the process is similar the T code being FBL 3N. Okay, FBL 3N is the T code. We we go to FBL 3N. Similarly, we will uh, that same window will be appearing. We click FBL 3N, and this is the screen of FBL 3N. Okay, this GL see that name has changed from financial items to GL account line item display. Here we give the gen, uh, GL uh, GL name as uh, whatever being the GL name and the company code. Okay, and then uh gl account company code okay then uh, here search help id search string nothing is required Achha. here are three functions open items all items and cleared items i i will ask vinay to explain it because he attends all the session vinay please go ahead what is all items open items and uh, uh, cleared items Hello, Vinay. Hello. Achha, achha. I think so. The Vinay has some network issues. Oh, okay. So, are you hello? guys understand? Ha, hello. 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 Ha, hello. Yes. Vinay, uh, we, I have explained you all th these things, right? In GL account, we have to give here, then company code, mm -hmm. then then the uh, system of open items, cleared items, and all items. Can you enlighten something upon us? What do you understand oh. by open items? What do you understand oh. by all items? And what do you understand by cleared items? Open items, we post the transactions we post. We have the posting the date of the transactions. No. Open it. See, I am explaining you. Uh, open items are generally for balance sheet items. Okay, like balance sheet items, we need to see uh, the as on date balance. Okay, like as on thirty first March, what is the balance? Because because balance sheet item has always an opening balance which is coming, which is getting pulled. That's why we always choose open items in case of uh, balance sheet items. Okay. Similarly, in case in case of prof PL items, PL items, we always choose all items because it has a, a all items and we there is a posting date. Like you have to cho choose from for three months, or you have to choose for six months, or you have to choose for nine months. Okay, so uh, or you have to choose for twelve months. So you give the posting date from this period to this period, whatever the uh, amount has been posted in the sales year, or it be expenses year or anything. So we choose the uh, all items thing. In, in tally, if you remember, like if you see a balance sheet item, supposedly you put a period like from 1st April to 31st March, there will be an opening balance brought forward and then there will be some transactions which has incurred during the 12 months. Okay. But 
for knowing the details of the opening balance brought forward you have to again change the period like from 1st april uh, 2020 to 31st march 2021 like you have to go back 1st april 2019 to 31st march 2021 and then you get the details but the beauty of sap is that you do not have to do any such thing you just need to uh, if it is a balance sheet item and you want to see all the brought forward balances whatever are open means whatever pending clearance like whatever what is the balance coming in the creditors or what is the balance coming in the debtors or any deposit ledger supposedly there is a depo deposit ledger which is being uh, pulled from 2012 uh, or 13 so there might be few deposits uh, deposits which are kept uh, which are uh, in the big from 2012 13 like in tally you have to just go back till uh, that date and then you have to run the ledger and then you get an idea that Achha, this deposit is coming from 2008 uh, or uh, 2012 or 2013 but in case of uh, sap you do not have to do any such thing in open items if you cl click open items it will give you the, all the in the deposits like if a figure is coming in deposit supposedly one lakh rupees so what are the details when when we have given money uh, and which which date may, whether it be 2012 or 2013 or 2014 whatever it be uh, the balance will be showing in the de uh, deposits okay uh, in the open items and similarly in all items the pl as i told you it, it is pl, uh, PL related so it will show you now anybody wants to share about clear items can anybody guess what, then what is the role of this clear items which items get cleared uh, as on the dates till now huh. so suppose which have nil balance uh -huh. mm. so, uh, supposedly i as i told you that you so uh, you have uh, taken some deposit supposedly in the year 2016 and in the year uh, 2021 supposedly you paid back the deposit the contract is over you had taken some security deposits and you uh, the contract is over and you uh, paid uh, paid back the deposit to the person in that case if you run the open items, obviously that line item will not show because the one lakh rupees supposedly what is coming in your trial does not consist uh, the, uh, of that security deposit which you have already paid. But if you run the cleared items and you want to see that uh, from this date to this date, what are the items which have been cleared, which have been removed or which have been paid, uh, uh, paid. So uh, of this GL of, a, of GL of deposit. So you can check it by put, using the cleared items function and you will uh, write the date here, uh, uh, mention the period, and uh, this will help. Okay. I hope open items, cleared items, and all items are cleared. Okay. Uh, all items are uh, uh, understood, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Acha, okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, let us do one thing. Let, uh, let us connect again because the session is going to end. Then I will explain you the concept of this noted items and parked items. Okay. And then the GL extract, uh, then we can conclude about the GL extract and then we'll be proceeding further with the vendor ledger display and uh, customer ledger display. What are the T codes? Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. Let, let's connect again with this ID. Okay. Oh, same ID. Okay.